So welcome back friends. In today's video, we're going to cover a, a multitude of things. Today is a honeydew list. I, I, I'm ashamed to say there are some, uh, some, some things that I have maybe put off a little bit too long to do, i.e. I, siding on the house. I know that the, that the, the hydro gap paper, that, that that's a nice look and that blends in nicely with the, uh, with the, uh, the environment, but uh, Mrs. W disagrees. So let's, uh, let's get started on that first and then we'll, uh, we'll see what else we can get done today. So back in the day when I worked as a, used to be a construction superintendent, I worked for a, I worked for a big national company that built uh, uh, retail stores like uh, Gaps and Banana Republics and Hugo Boss, kind of high-end retail stuff. Um, and I went from job to job to job. I worked all over the country. And all my tools and all my equipment, everything were kept in a job box like this. And I've kind of readopted that recently. I, I found it to be kind of frustrating with having so many properties spread all over the or properties or buildings all over the place. So I want to do things and having tools spread out where I was spending an hour and a half looking for stuff with a lot of frustration. Uh, so the boxes have been really nice. I could put, I've got everything in there, my battery chargers and all that, grab it with the forks uh, and uh, drop it wherever you're working. And even if you don't get finished with the job, it's kind of nice because they're watertight. So you can close the lid on them and, and chain them to a tree or whatever and have your stuff secure. So I, I'm a big fan of it. I'll show you the inside here, but I've got a tray uh, in there with that I keep my uh, cordless drills and chargers and stuff in there. Uh, that that way I only have to plug in one one plug. This tray here holds the battery. Uh, you have your different battery chargers here, and then I just wire, just put an electrical strip in there so I can run multiple chargers. But these are usually the Milwaukee, the Dewalt batteries are what I use. And then uh, there's storage for these, you know, your different tools you have here. And then the toolboxes. I've got one of these, I think we've talked about this in previous videos. I've got one of these uh, plastic boxes for each of the different trades, I guess, you know, for one for plumbing and one for electrical. This one's for carpentry. And that way I can leave it in the box and I can just pull it out and then we can um, uh, get to it. So let's grab, uh, we'll get a uh, tape and a pencil uh, and I'll show you. We'll go over there and I'll show you. I'll show you what we what we got going on here. The reason why the siding is gone is uh, last year when we replaced, we had those old aluminum windows uh, and the that weren't insulated, and we got a. a it was, this is the north side. We were getting a lot of. They were really cold, and they would uh, uh, sweat. They're just bad. They're probably from the. I don't know what they're from, maybe from the 80s or the 70s. So we replaced those with the, the newer mill guards, and I never did get around to putting the siding back on. And uh, I, I was thinking today that we were going to put all the siding on because I, I carefully took it off, um, and hopefully it'll all go back on. Um, but it wasn't done correctly. It, it was done very poorly. Um, and it, but what I was saying is I thought I was going to do this today, and then it dawned on me, no, I don't want to put it back the way it was. I want to do it correctly. So let me show you how not to do uh, siding. So this is actually, it's really nice siding. It's wide, clear cedar. I don't even know where you would find this anymore. This is, this was some expensive stuff in the day. It would be today if you could find it. But what they did wrong uh, is that they, they ran the siding uh, into the windows and then they put this little cheesy three quarter inch trim on there on top of it. And so what you have in here is you have gaps. You have gaps underneath of it. It looks awful. It, it was, I, I don't know why anyone would have done it that way other than they didn't know what they were doing. They, that, that could have been the, in the reason. And it just it, it's not done right. Hey, I need some, I need some siding help. Okay. So uh, I'm putting the siding up here on that north face and um, I'm going to go ahead and, and just, you know, do the five quarter that, what do you call it? Brick molding around the windows and the doors. Yeah. Uh, is that you typically five quarter? Yeah. And what, what, now when I measure the lap, these laps are pretty big. So yeah. off, off of the sheeting, um, you know, where they lap, the thickness is, is about, um, looks like about an inch and an eighth. Where they're doubled, you mean? Yeah, where they're doubled. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, I want, there's no corner board on here. They just ran them to the corner and they kind of, you know, they just hanging out there. Um, I want to put a okay. corner board on there. Is that, do you usually put a, when, when they stick, when they're that thick, do you put a five quarter on the corner as well? Yeah, it's only just two by because, it's, you know, it's so much cheaper. Um, oh, oh, just get like a two by and, and just rip it down? Yeah, just get a piece of cedar and uh, actually just 
you, you know, the cardboard is generally three or four inches wide. I'm glad I called Dad. All right, let's re redo this here. So that's not going to happen today. We've got to go to the lumber yard. So I'll go get that stuff tomorrow morning. Let's go inside and we'll jump to the next thing on our list. So the next thing on my honeydew list is oiling Mrs. W's dining room table. Now I'll be using a, uh, uh, what, I, uh, what I've switched to is the, um, uh, the Danish oil over, even over the linseed oil. I, I, I like the Danish oil even more than the linseed oil. It's, it's a vegetable based oil, but I think it, it's prettier. I think it has, has a, nice, a nice luster. So if you have um, furniture like this, this is a, uh, this is a natural finished uh, walnut table. Uh, that it needs it needs to be oiled annually and what that will do is that will protect it and it, as from well, root, essentially from water stains it kind of waterproofs it um, and nourishes it it will if you if you do this to, to find wood like this and it will I mean it will last forever Mrs. W here lend a hand I love to watch you work. <laughs> jump in here I'm like this is great <laughs> so and then we want to, we want to get it off uh, get all of the excess off and you uh, just so you know you don't want it, you're not going to want to use this for two days the table yeah okay because uh, it'll take two days for this oil to harden and to dry and if you get it on your clothing it won't come out so how are we eating we'll have to eat on the bar <laughs> you know what i wanted to hear yeah <laughs> is that what do you want oh you want to hear? aren't you gonna pick me up yeah we'll go uh we'll go out three meals a day uh, yeah, and just and just make sure, just look across there. You know, you you can see the, the light. Anything that you missed, make sure that there's no excess. I just come down to make you some lunch. Are you hungry? Well, I've got other things for you to do if you if you need something to do. I've got to prep for class tomorrow. This year we are doing classical conversations. There is essentials and foundations in our area, so we are. I don't doing think anyone that. knows what that means. Well, Classical Conversations is a curriculum where you meet once a week and you learn different things. And so Jack is in a program where he learns certain things in the morning and then other things in the afternoon for older children. It's a program for homeschoolers. For homeschoolers, yes. And so I'm teaching the afternoon class and it's exciting to relearn grammar and writing and math games and to kind of fill in gaps that you get when you are at home alone. It's good to get together with your peers and learn things. Exciting so, for you. Well, Diagramming sentences is not what I would consider to be exciting. <laughs> well, there are nerds and then there are real nerds. <laughs> yeah. You are in the real nerd category. Thank you, love. She'll be, do, she'll be doing her coursework and about diagramming sentences and, and like what you really want to share really bad. Like, this is so great. You've got to see this. Like, no, I, I don't have to see that. I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't want to know what it is. I'm glad that you know how to know what it is. You want some greens? Yeah, so what's this? That's from my garden. I just picked it. It's like kale. Yep, I've got lots of chard and three different kales and collard greens and everything out there. How come you're smiling so much? Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, what else do you have to say? What is it? You want, is there something you want? <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Let's go be properly this man. Let's go. Let's get in there. Yeah. 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 You ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so one of the most common questions that we get are, are we, you know, cause we did about juicing. Cause we did, what was that a year ago? We did a, you did it. I, I did it for 10 days. I like to eat and you would rather juice. Yeah. I'd rather just get it over with and have it. Cause I don't like vegetables very well. The tech it's the texture. Uh, so what, so the answer is uh, no. We we never intended on in doing that full time. Uh, it was it was just kind of a like a two week or I don't remember what it was, but what we've I guess found out that it's worked pretty good is um, just not eating so much. We're kind of trying to get down to two meals a day, 
Um, and, and rather than having three meals, you know, maybe we do some juice or do a juice instead or in between. And that, that seems to be kind of reasonable and doable. And it's, I know it's a lot less cooking for you. Yeah. Um, and you just, three meals a day, I guess you, you just don't need that much. Most people. Well, yeah. it depends on how big. You, you like hot, big meals too. Yeah, it depends on how, how hard you're working and all that as well. So, all right. So this, this uh, do you have the recipe there? What's this one called? This is called carriage apple spinach, but we're gonna put kale in instead of spinach. Oh, so we're not following it at all then. Here we are, it's one of the substitutes. It oh. looks substitutes. Oh, it does, I didn't know that. On the same page? No, um, online, on their website. Okay. All right, carrots, two apples, and kale. And not all of this. This is a, um, an auger type of juicer. So it's got those twin, those big twin screws. So it's super efficient. And what you get out the other end, this, the, the tailings for lack of a better word, world, uh, word are like, uh, the they're tailings. like dust. <laughs> it gets all of the juice out of everything. It turns a little bit slower than, than um, some of the other, Wait, where's this leaking from? Oh, this little. Of the bowl. I have it set up wrong. Yeah. You gotta lift it up and then yeah, put it in the glass bowl. Oh, okay. Um, but for people who are looking for a juicer, we got a really nice juicer, a first one off of eBay. Remember? I'm not very good at this here. Uh, <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> it's really it's like doing math. You can't juice and be on the video at the same time. You can't do math and be on the video at the same time, right? Yeah. So if you want to get into a, a really nice. You like almost commercial grade juicer for a good price. Uh, go with the, 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 is it the champion or champ? The champion. I what it's called. The champion juicers, they, they, that's what we had for years and years before we got the angel. And it, uh, you can buy those for what, $100, $150? I think we bought ours for around $100 with the shipping. Yeah. And they just don't really wear out and you can still get replacement parts for them. So that's, that's a really a great way to go. I think that's a lot better than some of the, Plastic centrifugal ones; those just don't seem to hold up very well. They do work, but they yeah, the, the build quality is just not really there. So, how come you don't like juice? I like to chew. Okay, here you can see it. Look at look at how well you can't look. But I can tell you, it's 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 dry. All of the the juice is out of it. So, you know, it's, it's a nice ju masticating juicer is expensive, but. If you're looking at something you're going to be using for 20 years or so, that you get, I'd say, what a third more juice out of the produce. You do, and probably. produce is expensive. And it's, it's, it's a shame for you know to have a juicer that's not very efficient and just throw all that away. All right, here we go. Every day, get a man up for this. Oh, I got, I got more green than I got the orange there. Looks like I got a double. Is this Scotty Gledger? Scotty Gledger. <laughs> I do this. Sorry, love. I do this for you, honey. I know. I want you to live a long time so we can be happily married and that I'll take care of you. We'll take care of each other. It's so terrible. I have to have a water chaser. <sighs> you think you'd get used to it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> The reason why I don't, don't know about Cody, he's very dramatic and it makes me laugh. The reason, so no, it's mean. It's, don't think it's, I think it's funny. It's funny. not drama. It's, I, I'm a super taster. And that's the thing is, so, so to me, these bitter vegetables are so intense that they're overwhelming. So that's the, so I'm, I'm working at a, dis, I, 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 it's a handicap. It's so bad. So bad. I always, oh, it's so bad. I always say that I'm good at, I'm gonna, um, I'll just put this in the fridge and finish it later. That you know, never happens, is it? It's so bad. It's just always so bad.